Welcome to Nenji in 3D. You'll have to pardon my eclectic test map where uh, these voxels have been made to do all kinds of crazy things in the name of science. I've been working on all kinds of networking stuff for ages and my favorite things like lag compensation of shots and movement prediction were really designed for 3D and while I have used them in 2D, um, here they finally are in their home and I could demonstrate them. So I've made this little player, well really it's just a hitbox person, and all parts of this model are networked. Um, so rather than do something sane like make a big box blob for the body and another one for the head and call it good, instead every part of this is actually a hitbox and they're synced across the network so that as this player starts running if I click on any of the spots, the collisions will occur on the server. My shot will go to the server, the player will be rewound to whatever snapshot it was closest to, and it'll try and do hit detection that way. So full, full, you know, AAA style simulation. So let me show it a little. Um, let's see. So I've got the server running in this little black window on the right. I'll read what's on it because it's probably hard to see in the video, but if I fire a shot, it said it hit the head, that one said it hit the right upper arm, more right upper arm, torso, right lower arm, pelvis, left leg, although I've mislabeled the legs in the code, so that's really the right leg. So all the parts are hittable. Um, let me make the guy run so that we have something a little more exciting, and also all these hits would have hit no matter what doesn't matter what kind of compensation we have, it's holding still. So I'm going to run him into this green wall. Actually, I'm going to run him inside this building because he can get stuck in a corner much more easily and I can leave it running. So it's now stuck in there. I'm going to shoot some of the parts that are moving. That was a leg hit. That was a, one, one of those was a miss, went in between the legs and one of them was a hit. I'm just going to full auto here. It's getting a lot of hits. There's recoil. Um, so you can see the shots are like going up and up. Uh, let's do arm and hip. So when I clicked, it was went through the movement of the arm. So and hit the hip. So you can see how accurate it is. There's gonna be hip again. Let's see if I can land a shot on the arm. That was right lower arm. I don't know if I can really do the hands at this angle because they're spending most of their time in the wall. Well, that one counted. So right arm. So you can see how accurate it is. And this is running with 100. Um, milliseconds of delay so it's not even like network or land speed it, it has a little bit of delay on it even now um, and it works for I mean you can tune it you can tune it how much you want it to be able to rewind rewind it too much and you know the players will get pissed off um, so there it is the holy grail of network programming all the compensation prediction etc and um, it's working it's also released well, the Ninji part of it's released. It has been for a while, actually. There just is a lack of 3D um, examples because I don't know how to program anything in 3D. Still don't really. This is all I've got. I'm going to be making a game of this variety. It's going to look like this area and less like these areas. Um, the goal of whole, this whole thing was to make something that could do fast enough collisions that I could hopefully one day do 100 players, although I don't really know how to do that in 3D because objects have a lot more data associated with them in 3D than they do in 2D. I would, I'm probably going to start with maybe like a 20 player deathmatch game and see what I can figure out from there. Uh, so this is loads, big chunks, these are like 127 squared chunks of voxels, each one's a separate map and I stitch them all together and that's how it downloads in these pieces. So one can, you know, make a large map by stitching, you know, 12 of them together, this is nine of them. That's going to be the basis of this game. Um, we'll see what I can come up with and what other stuff there is to do. If you want to play with Nenji in 3D but need some help, feel free to join the Nenji Discord. I'm there most of the time. Thanks for watching.